There's an ongoing shortage of the liquid form of albuterol. Here's what to know. It's a really commonly used medicine, both inside the hospital, but patients at home use it all the time as a rescue medication, meaning that it's used to alleviate symptoms that come on quickly, like shortness of breath, chest tightness, and wheezing. And this can happen with chronic lung diseases, things like asthma or COPD, but it also happens with acute illnesses, things like acute respiratory viral illnesses. While many people with lung conditions may be prescribed albuterol to use in a cartridge inhaler, it is just the liquid or nebulized form at the center of this shortage. Some people do use this at home, but much more commonly it's used inside the emergency department and in the hospital for more emergency settings. Inhaled albuterol, the little canisters that people carry around, fits in your pocket or your handbag or your purse, and can be carried around anywhere, those are much more commonly used. Thankfully, those are not in short supply. The supply of that has been well maintained. Murphy says the nebulized albuterol shortage is not impacting UW Medicine's hospitals and clinics. But if you use this liquid form at home and are concerned about supply in the future, here are steps you can take. One, of course, is to reduce their exposure to certain environmental triggers that are known to worsen their symptoms. But then secondarily, there's this class of controller medications that really treat the underlying disease process that contributes to their underlying lung disease. And being adherent to those treatment regimens is really one of the most important things you can do to limit the need for albuterol. It tends to be that nebulized albuterol is used so much more frequently in the winter months. Those are the times that patients are in the hospital with severe respiratory viral infections. That's when we see kind of our uh, patients in the ICU kind of start increasing the census. Um, so the hope is that will end up being the, being the case that the summer will give us a little bit of time to correct this shortage. And then by the time the next respiratory viral season rolls around, it will be in okay shape.